Hi, this is Hillary, Mrs. Mo, and for today I thought I would do a video review of two books that are great for little girls. And one of the books is a um, is a picture book for the little ones who are still learning counting and colors and everything. And the second book is for girls who get are a little bit older and who can. Um, it's a great conversation book to have with your daughter. Um, <clears throat> So to get started, the first book is by an author named Ellen LaRoe, and I actually met her through an alumni channel of my uh, my high school, Marstown Baird School. I was recently featured in the um, alumni magazine called The Crimson about all my blogging and my PR work, and she emailed me and said I would love to share with you one of my children's board books. And she's, she has written a lot of young adult fiction as well, and she has a few children's books. Um, but since she saw, Maddie was actually in the spread in the magazine with me, so she, um, she thought she would enjoy this book. So it's called Princess Fun, Count 10 to 1. And already the shape of the book is, is wonderful. It definitely stands out, and I can see a lot of girls reacting to the sparkle and the shape like a crown and each page depicts characters that you would find in like a fairy tale story you have fairies little princesses um, fairy godmothers you have cockatoos queen bees um, I guess like a little bit it reminds me of you know like princess and the pea and sleeping beauty and all those princess stories it counts down from 10 to 1 and at the end there's a little surprise that Maddie loves <clears throat> a crown a big crown and she she'll put it on she puts the book up to her head and I'll put it on my head and Rob's head and her head so um, it's such a cute it's a cute little book to help them learn to count helps kids learn animals and to, to find little objects so if you have a little if you have a daughter I definitely recommend this book you can get it wherever books are sold online and, and whatnot so princess fun count 10 to 1 <clears throat> the second book is by um, a blogger friend of mine Christy Finnan she's a Bucks County mom she um, has a few blogs of her own. She also writes for the Phil Philadelphia Moms blog. And her book is Mommy's High Heel Shoes. And I actually met Christy last year at the Today's Mom Book Bash in New York City. And um, I think her, her book especially was wonderful for a lot of the women at the event and even the hosts themselves who are working moms. And a lot of us um, may work from home, myself included, and some of us maybe who aren't even working full-time are technically full-time bloggers, and a lot of us stay-at-home moms are full-time moms, and we all wear different shoes in our daily life, um, whether it's um, exercising or running errands or the occasional date night with our husbands. Um, we all wear different shoes, and it's also a metaphor for just the different roles we play. But the book is such a great, it's wonderful for if you have older girls, especially like kindergarten age and older, where you can actually talk about, talk about what's going on in the story. The little girl sees her mom wearing all these shoes every day to work, and she tries them on herself, and Maddie is already trying on my shoes. Um, you know, but as the book goes on, she always wonders, like, you know, what's mommy wearing these high heel shoes for? You know, and she talks about the shoes she wears for making waffles, the shoes she wears in the pumpkin patch, and the shoes when mommy's tired. You know, there's so many, she wears so many shoes, we all wear so many shoes in a given day, um, that it's a great, something great to talk about with your own daughter. And, um all the different stuff that you do in a given day. Um, and it's okay if, if your daughter, if they don't know the deeper meaning of filling so many shoes and all the different roles that mommies play, she'll figure out as she gets older. But it's just a fun book. And at the end, um, actually throughout the book, 
um, there's little hidden cupcakes and hearts and penguins throughout the page. So it's also a fun treasure hunt. Um, kind of like the highlights magazines where you're always trying to find something hidden in the pictures. Um, so I recommend this. Maddie's already reading it now. She loves the colors. She loves finding little objects. She loves the little penguin. He's adorable. Um, but I definitely recommend this. It's such a great, especially, especially for the working moms who have to leave wearing all dressed up. Um, it's, a nice, it's just a nice gift. It's a nice gift to sit down and read with your daughter about all the different shoes you wear. So that's my, those are my two picks. We have Princess Fun by Ellen LaRoe, Marstown Baird alumni, and we have Mommy's High Heel Shoes by Christy Finnan. Um, you can also find her online, uh, realmomreviews.com, and she's also a Philly mom blogger. She's also on Twitter, Mommy's HH Shoes from Mommy's High Heel Shoes. Um, so enjoy them. Hope you pick them up. And uh, until next time, have a nice week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.